Good afternoon, my name is Debbie Fisher, and I'm from Brampton, Ontario. Eleven years ago, I stood where you are now, listening to the women and men of the Silent No More Awareness Campaign tell their stories for the first time in Canada. I remember feeling like such a hypocrite because I'd had an abortion and no one knew about it. I was so ashamed. Breaking my silence publicly was not a part of my plan. My secret was going to the grave with me. It was the gentle and humble presence of those first courageous women and men that enabled me to be set free from a silence that had crippled my soul for almost 19 years. In 1986, I was 31 years old, the survivor of an abusive marriage where I had been raped Although I did not conceive in that rape, I conceived like later on, and then I became the mother of a, of a five-year-old son when I had the abortion. In my brokenness, I became pregnant out of a need to be loved because I hadn't felt that for a very long time. I chose abortion because I had no support, no choice, and I didn't want to bring shame to my family. After a brief consultation with clinic workers at the Bay Center for Birth Control in Toronto, sorry, I was scheduled for an abortion at Women's College Hospital. There was never a panel of doctors, only the abortionist. I was physically examined but never offered an ultrasound. My abortion was a two-day procedure which began with laminaria being inserted into my cervix and ended with my baby being torn apart and suctioned from my uterus. I was told I was eight weeks pregnant. However, the two-day procedure I endured convinced me of what I had suspected all along, that my baby was actually 12 weeks old. This explained why I was told I needed to have this done as soon as possible. While I was waking up from the abortion procedure, I began crying. I want my baby. Where is my baby? I had changed my mind, but it was too late. My baby was in the garbage. In the midst of my screams, I was told to shut up because I was upsetting other people in the recovery room. I became a full-blown alcoholic, suffered from depression, and entertained thoughts of suicide. My daughter, Noelle Marie, died of unnatural causes in the fall of 1986. She would be 27 years old today. I am her voice now because she was the one who had no choice, not me. I wiped out a whole generation in my family and I deeply regret my choice. I know I have been forgiven and set free because of the love of my God and your unwavering love and support. And I know that one day I will hold my precious daughter. Today, when I'm told to be silent because I'm upsetting other people, I say never. My name is Debbie Fisher, and I will be silent no more.